This disastrous Willy Wonka experience is going super viral after kids were left in tears, the police were called, and the memes are flowing. So we've put together this ultimate guide to one of the funniest and most baffling things that has ever happened. An early contender for the best thing of 2024. This is Scroll Deep, I'm Benedict Townsend. This is the show that keeps up with internet nonsense so you don't have to. So let's dive in. Don't lose your heads. Don't get overexcited. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of grand exaggeration. It's the end of Basically, in a nutshell, in a, in a chocolate shell, a company put on a really crappy Willy Wonka-inspired immersive experience in Scotland, and it was so bad that the police ended up being called, everyone demanded refunds, and every single hilarious detail has gone viral. So let's dig in to the chocolatey ingredients, okay? It all started when a company called House of Illuminati, okay, started advertising a fabulous Charlie and the Chocolate Factory inspired, <laughs> copyright-free, experience in Glasgow, utilising these wonderfully clearly AI images that I'm sure the event would definitely be able to live up to. So parents began coughing up £35 and uh, went to enter a world of wonder and were presented with this. A few smatterings of plastic candy canes, a poster just sort of vaguely stuck on a wall, and a generally empty industrial space that actually looked a lot more like a real chocolate factory than Willy Wonka's factory. And that was only the beginning of the insanity. So actors had been hired, apparently less than a day before the event, and were given AI written scripts, which made so little sense that on the day they told them to just kind of throw the scripts away and use them as a guide and just kind of feel it out. There were Willy Wonkers, they weren't called Willy Wonkers, but there were multiple Willy Wonkers. There were some Oompa Loompas, who for copyright reasons were not called Oompa Loompas. And there was a character called The Unknown, which is an entirely new character the AI came up with, which is apparently an evil chocolatier that lives in the walls and looks like this. What is that? It's the end of... This story is actually a wonderful parable about AI and how it doesn't work. Like, no human being could come up with the unknown. <laughs> and without a doubt, this is the breakout star of the whole story. People cannot get enough of the unknown. Apparently, in the original AI-generated script, Willy Wonka was meant to kill the unknown by sucking him up into a vacuum cleaner. God only knows how they acted that out on the day, because they definitely didn't have the budget for a vacuum cleaner. Now, these actors have started speaking out. One of the Wonka actors, comedian Paul Connor, he took to TikTok. People who wanted Timothy Chalamet and got Timothy Charlatan. And he said, quote, I got a phone call on Thursday evening saying, you're going to play Willy Wonka. We'll send you over a script and dress rehearsal is tomorrow. The script was 15 pages of AI generated gibberish of me just monologuing these mad things. The bit that got me was when I had to say, there is a man, we don't know his name. We know him as the unknown. This unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. It was terrifying for the kids. Is he an evil man who makes chocolate, or is the chocolate itself evil? But I stayed up all night learning the script, thinking this would make sense in dress rehearsal, and then I see all the tech, and apparently they just threw out the script. One of the Oompa Loompas has also spoken out. What a great sentence. Kirsty Pattinson said, quote, The whole thing's just been a complete and utter shambles. It was shocking, honestly. This is her, by the way, uh, in what people have called a kind of homemade meth lab situation. There's been a lot of memes about this. She said she was angry because she felt embarrassed Apparently her job was to hand out jelly beans to the kids, uh, but they started running out of jelly beans. Apparently the kids were getting one jelly bean each, and then like less than half a cup of store brand lemonade. This is the table of lemonades. Look, there's like a thimble of lemonade. The actors are kind of heroes because they turned up and I think they knew immediately they're not going to get paid. I don't think any of them have been paid. And they were like, well, there's kids here, you know, they want to have a good time. They kind of powered through even though they had no script and even though they weren't really being paid. They were like, we can't let all these kids down. Now, were the kids let down? Of course. But that doesn't mean they didn't try their best. Because imagine if there was no actors there and it was just the kids alone in this experience with the unknown. That's terrifying. Thank God Willie was there to guide them. Things got so bad that people called the police, which does feel a little bit dramatic. I don't think the police were needed. It was disappointing, but no one was getting hurt. Not like that real Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Okay, this was bad, but at the actual Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory, children kept nearly dying. So comparatively, it wasn't that bad. House of Illuminati, the people who organized it, they've apologized with a Facebook post, and they've also promised full refunds. 
refunds? I, I should bloody hope so. They said they planned a quote, fabulous event, but it just did not take shape, making this the first instance of something depressing happening in Glasgow. A spokesperson said, unfortunately last minute, we were let down in many areas of our event and tried our best to continue on and push through. And now I realize we probably should have canceled first thing this morning instead. I love the idea of like, let's just push through. You got people's money. You don't push through when you got people's money. And the memes have just been flowing. People kind of get enough of the unknown. What's what that? that? It's, it's the, the unknown. unknown. There was excitement online when a, a second Oompa Loompa appeared, whispering to George Bush, a second Oompa Loompa has appeared at the event. <laughs> there were some really sad things. We, we can't show it because it's a child, but there was a little child that dressed up as an Oompa Loompa and had come all that way and was so excited. I will say it had a better costume than the actual professional Oompa Loompas, and apparently that child was heartbroken. The parents were just furious, understandably. This event has also happened at a time when there's been a lot of social media speculation about uh, Kate Middleton, because we don't know where Kate Middleton has been for the last few months. She may well be unwell, we don't know, but a lot of people have suspected perhaps she's at this event or that perhaps she is the unknown. And we have to give those memers their moment in the sun as well. Unless it comes out that the reason she's not been seen is for a really depressing reason, in which case I apologize for these disrespectful memes. The crazy thing is though, obviously it shut down immediately, but if they waited a week and then opened that again, the sheer amount of people who would go like ironically, I would be on the first train to Glasgow to meet the unknown and experience this. They gotta wait and then open it again with no changes. Cause it's like a fire festival situation, you know? Instead of like a plate with like a bit of bread with cheese on it, you just get a single jelly bean. It's very Dashcon coded. Do you remember Dashcon, which I think was like a tumbler con? There was, well, a con in many ways. It was organized like a million years ago and there's an iconic photo of just a single inflatable swimming pool filled with balls just in the middle of a giant room. And that was the whole of Dashcon. That is very much this. It's sort of a beautiful story as well about how AI is just not ready and hopefully will never be ready to replace human creativity. Cause they were like, oh yeah, we can just dash off the artwork to AI, which just gave people like false promises. They were like, we can dash off the script to AI, which created the unknown, a creature that should have never been created. The whole thing is just like, this is why you should pay creative people to come up with your event. The question I have for you is, genuinely, if they opened up this event again this weekend, are you going? Because the only thing that's stopping me going is the sheer expense of train prices these days. It probably cost me like hundreds of pounds to get to Glasgow, but if it was down the road, if this was in London, I would be there in a heartbeat. Because the thing is, there's chocolate, as we learned in the film Wonka, there's chocolate and then there's chocolate. And then in this case, there's no chocolate. But if I could meet the unknown, my God, I'd be there. Would you go? Do you think this is iconic? Do you have a child? Do you think your child would have had a nice time at this event? As a parent, if you had spent 35 quid, which I will say is actually comparatively relatively cheap compared to some of the stuff parents end up spending. Like I know parents who have spent like hundreds of quid to meet Santa, which feels like an insane scam, but that's parenting apparently. Sound off in the comments down below. Let me know your favorite memes, your favorite moments from this. I've got to say 2024 is going to take a lot to beat this now. This is a, a hot contender for the funniest thing of the year. But the year is young. The year is young, and who knows, House of Illuminati might have some more events up their sleeve. I would not be surprised if they're back again later in the year with something else. Maybe they'll just fill a room with sewage and be like, it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles experience. If you spend enough time in the sewage, you'll probably start mutating. Either way, this has been Scroll Deep. If you've made it this far, make sure to follow and like to keep up with all the latest stuff because you don't need, why spend hours on your phone trying to keep up with all the memes? We'll find them for you and just deliver them to you in one delicious video package. Till next time, I'll leave you with Willy Wonka's famous catchphrase, no refunds.